Uh, Joel Kitamura, artist? Artist, art teacher. Art teacher. You want to expand on that? Like pro? Uh, high school. High school art teacher. <laughs> okay. High school. Again, and one again, of our newest Angel. members of Ogden City's Arts Advisory yes. Committee. Yes. Thank that. you, Todd. Yeah, because Todd's going to make the, actually do something good for us, mm. uh, where we invite everyone that's from the Ogden City Arts Advisory Committee in on the Particularly show. Particularly our newest members, so we can get to know them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So Joel is not the first, but you're the newest, probably, on Ogden City Arts Advisory. How Definitely many? the new batch. I think that there was three, three or four Sam, new ones. Sam came on same time I did. Yeah. And that's, I think he's that the only one. Yeah. Why do I not know Sam yet even? See, this is, Sam, everyone's we'll, new. We'll get him in the trailer. We'll get him in the trailer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, then, and then you'll be like, oh, Sam, Sam. Yeah. We know okay. Sam. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Joel. What? All right. So I'm reading this for the first time. Okay. So I'm all jump in here. Is this so, Joel's? Yeah. This okay. is Joel's okay. bio. Joel's bio. Did you see oh. that your bio is now, it's now listed on Ogden City Arts. Uh, and so that's, they're kind of doing a similar thing that I want to do on the show. And that is spotlight some of the new members mm. slash all the members. That probably gets everybody eventually. And so. Here is, let's see, we want to introduce you to a new Ogden City Arts Advisory member, Joel Kitamura, holds the arts education seat. Okay, and we'll talk about that Ooh. in just a second. So here's your bio. Joel has been a resident of Ogden City for nearly two decades and works as an art teacher at New Ames Early College High School. He received a BFA with the 2D emphasis in 2015. Was it 2015? Yeah. From oh. Weber State University, exploring a multitude of mediums. This is exactly what I was describing you, uh, including painting, printmaking. Oh, you disappeared how much? Uh, drawing and ceramics. Before attending Weber State, he joined the U.S. Marine Corps from 99 to 2007. It was one of the first groups to mobilize to Iraq shortly after 9-11. He loves to travel around the world and immerse himself in new cultures by experiment, experiencing the arts and food and building relationships with strangers, even if for a moment through conversations. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> that's what you're doing today. He's a renaissance man. He's a renaissance man. Yeah. From these experiences, he, he has always appreciated the sense of camaraderie within a community, whether it was with his band of brothers or the great people of Ogden he has come to know over the years. He can remember not so long ago during his daily commutes, passing the vacant lot where the junction now stands, to most recently driving past the Wonder Lot, thinking he needs to be involved in the continuing growth of the wonderful city, Ogden has a rich history that he wants to be a part of. Did you write that? Yeah. Nicely done. <laughs> and it's mostly true, isn't it? Yeah. What? what? No. no also it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you could tell me now after you got the position. So it's one of those, uh, I know that helped get you selected there. That, so let, that let's. That sounded nice, you reading it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'll have to make sure and read the bios of everybody that we have that comes in, just to keep it fair, of course. And so after all of this time, um, you are now officially on the Ogden City Arts Advisory yep. Committee. Uh, what what's that mean to you? I know I've been, I've probably mentioned it to you a few times mm -hmm. that it was. A, I thought that'd be a good match for you. Oh, yeah. um, but I do know, like this last selection, that we, we had an opening and there was a lot of people that applied and really? wanted to get in. And so, there's a lot of amazing people that want to be part of that board. And so, congrats for being selected. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Obviously, that. Well, was and I just want to say, like. Um, our, we had we didn't pull for you at all. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, I, I like a little. I mean, just I mean, I, I I don't have the power to just simply you. Yeah, yeah. Are now part yeah, of yeah. We did, totally didn't just choose you. You've, yeah. you've endorsed me through <laughs> <laughs> through drinks, and so uh, now that you're part of the, the this club, this this small club that we have, uh, it means that basically your commitment is. Um, the occasional Tuesday, we meet on yep. Tuesdays, Tuesdays, right? Tuesdays. Second Tuesday of each month, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and beyond that, it's you know, what are your plans? What would you like to give? Have you joined any subcommittees yet? Um, I think. Have you joined any subcommittees? See, yeah. that's what we want to know first. Yeah, and which, what yeah. subcommittee are you on, is, Joel? Is, yeah. is the uh, uh, grant review? Is, is that a subcommittee? Yep, yeah, yeah. That's the, the arts I grants. Didn't, that's didn't agree to that's it. One of the. One of the more time-consuming <laughs> ones. Did you do me. it this last time? Yeah, I did. I did. So, so you graded about 11. 11. 10, 10 or 11, yeah. Which, of course, we can't yep. talk about yet. Right. You know, because we haven't, we haven't chosen yep. as far as that goes. But uh, how was how is that for you? How was it was kind of getting a slice of our applicants? It was nice to it be able to wasn't it? be part of that community that I have already associated with. Um, when I used to work for the Ogden Amphitheater, I would... Um, 
have conversations with some of the applicants that uh, would come to events or to concerts just just for fun. And so building that sense of community, uh, getting to know the community and and being able to to, I guess, give my part to the city that has welcomed me with gracious arms and and me being able to enjoy the outdoor community i think we need to drink every time you say community Com- <laughs> I think that's yeah, i'm well, drunk now we're gonna catch up <laughs> <laughs> the educational community <laughs> yes yes hey, let's drink drink to that oh, and so um and it it i think you and Lori were the ones that kind of opened my eyes to how i could contribute and and i didn't really think about it i was just part of it and, and and partaking of what Ogden City offered every month or every season. And well, that's interesting. So, as an artist in Ogden, mm-hmm. did you know that there was um, a, a group at the city that was advocating for you? Yes and no. Yeah. Um, I I knew that it, that an entity existed, but had no idea what their job was or contribution was, mm-hmm. and so I just I thought it was just politically orient- oriented people making decisions. And, 100%. And, and that's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> they, In the end, all I uh, thought is that they had a lot of power. Yeah, all the power. <laughs> and I wanted little of that As it turns that out. Power. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. No, but it's it's been great. Um, I think working for the city made me realize the, the richness that we are able to offer to the community. Drink. <laughs> okay, and um, it, it it's it's a nice way to give back, so to speak. Yeah, and you just started, so yeah. There's there's that. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't on the bio. The wor- your work that you did with uh, the amphitheater. Did you do that for a couple summers? Yeah. So I got on um, 2018, and then kind of left when COVID happened because we couldn't gather and, and organize any events. And so um, that's when. Coincidentally, um, my wife works for a high school, and she just notified me that there's an opening for an art teacher position. And I, I, I shook my head. I'm like, I, I don't want to teach, right? I that was to, me over at Weaver. I, I want to That's do funny. art yep. and and show my art, but um, it just you know kind of festered in my uh, in my mind enough that I needed a different direction. And, and took the chance and, and got the position. And I, I don't regret one ounce of, of that. Do you have time to work on your own art as a teacher? No. Yeah. <laughs> as a teacher, you don't have time I've heard anything. you don't. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, the, the perk is that you get three months off, and, and that's when I get to travel. And um, my wife also arranges educational tours with, with the high school that we work with and take a bunch of kids. So I, I kind of benefit from her efforts um, and, and be able to see the world. How rewarding is it to be an art teacher in a school? Uh, I've only known one other element. Well, she was, was she junior high? Sarah, was she junior high? Junior high or high school teacher. And um, she thought it was hard, which it probably is. T- teaching? Yeah, art in, in junior high and high school, but, but also mm. probably very rewarding and inspirational at times. It is. It is, for sure. Um, I teach at New Ames High School, which is focusing on, on STEM. And so art has no business being in, in the STEM, but <laughs> we are fantastic. trying to force our way into it to become a STEM You force school. that A into there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, okay. and so, but um, we are trying to, uh, we, we, as, I just, like, I got to stop you because yeah, yeah. that just doesn't sound right. You got to have, you got to be creative though. Right. Even in, oh, yeah. in all of those fields, yep. right? Creativity and, is like what made Albert Einstein. Mm-hmm. And so like, mm-hmm. That's your job then. Exactly. And okay. so we try to implement that creativity, te- teach or, or expose the students to uh, coming up with an idea and developing that idea into a visual element that we can share and talk about through the critiquing process. And so it's it's more about communication, mm-hmm. not so much as creating and, and just kind of showing the product, but like being able to connect to the outside world. How does your art or the view of art connect to how you are you know living in this world and and developing your identity in high school and so i kind of guide that process and and not not so much as teach or or force feed art per se but to give them more diversity culture outside of their own circle that there's you know different thinkers different uh visual uh 
communication that is happening that you could be in tune with if you choose to. And I try to expose them to those uh, options or, or um, essentially give them stuff to look at. <laughs> yeah. Are, are you, is there one of you in every school? Not like Joel's, but yeah, similar <laughs> positions. <laughs> Well, a different it, color. I, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> maybe like blue same, shirts and stuff. Red yeah. shirts, but more or less yeah. the same. Because I'm thinking like, yeah, every school needs someone like that. Yeah. No, um, to be honest, I've, I've heard from student feedback, uh, specifically from junior high, that like, why why are you different? Or like, why is your your class so much funner than my <laughs> junior high teachers? And, and I've heard some horror stories about previous teachers that they've had, art teachers that they've had that told them you're doing it wrong or this is not right mm. which is not what art is you're doing about. art wrong yeah, <laughs> yeah right okay. that uh yeah. it it in my mind art should be anything um within parameters of your skill or your knowledge with art history or, we or podcast art. wrong all the time yeah so 100 percent all the time <laughs> But yeah. it's fun. But it's, but it's so fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. And so, so we're we, still just as bad. We just have better gear to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got cameras and shit, <laughs> nice mics and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Get to drink while you drink and we more. make sure everybody drinks more. That's yeah, I think. So <laughs> the more you drink, the better we are at our job. Yeah, is everyone so at home funny. drinking as much? So <laughs> if they're doing it right, the same. It if sounds... they're doing it right, they are. Yeah. Uh, Good point because our podcasts sound better. It's <laughs> <laughs> our new catchphrase. This, this podcast brought to you by Mothers Against Drug Driving. <laughs> the safety of your own home on your treadmill, whatever yeah. you need to do. Yeah. yeah. But no, I, I, I try to expose as much as I can to the students to kind of get, get an idea of what, what the outside world may uh, be thinking about. And, and art is a great way to ex essentially express the way you can communicate or, or to take in the communication of other people. Okay. So do you miss working on your own art? Yes. Okay. Yes. So Watching, what's the solution there? Um, I kind of draw over my students just to kind of enjoy the process. Uh -huh. And so that, I mean, it's micro, <laughs> micro, I, yeah. micro enjoyment that I get to have, but like, I don't have time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah. I think, I'm, I'm such a fairly new teacher that um, as my curriculum becomes becomes beefier, then I will have time to do it. Specifically this summer, I think I have some plans to force myself to make art. And and Todd, I'm this, yeah, I yeah. think this is the 13th time that we've talked about yep. collaborating. And, and Lori too, but I, I do know that that's what on their bucket list is to do a show and I, yeah. a show together with the two yeah. of us. And then of course, I, I like would Like an art in, show, not a podcast. Yeah, like, a, like a, okay. an art show. Mm -hmm. But uh I would say we'd invite in our sort of third in our little trio was Lori, Lori Buckley, but mm -hmm. but she she's such an exceptional artist now that I don't want her in the show because it's, it's, <laughs> she's <laughs> overshadowed. Yeah, like she's really really good. Yeah, and she's been showing quite a bit her work, and mm -hmm. so it's like no, we're just gonna Let's do the two of us. <laughs> that's so funny, but that's definitely um, an an old issue and a current issue is mm -hmm. the fact that art is often neglected in schools. That's sometimes mm -hmm. the first place you go to when there's either budget cuts or the focus needs to be this, 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 yeah. this, and it's it's not always the art right there. Yeah, and I just came back from uh, a flyby that we just hosted for incoming sophomores, and so just advertising what we have to offer with arts and uh, within a STEM school that, like, art does exist. Come join us and, and take a break from science, math, engineering courses and come to our class and just take a break from utilizing that side of the brain and exercise the other side and fully you know uh, exercise your brain and and start that creative process that can be utilized for both art and other areas like um, uh, I, so i i teach my students to uh, liken their idea generating process to the scientific hypothesizing that you kind of have to start with that idea mm -hmm. and then when you start to draw it it may not work out initially as in you got to sketch it out and then work on the sketch to develop it in, as the final product. So it's it's no different than the hypothesis theory that science classes utilize. And, and I try to kind of snag those kids that are like anti-art to be like, hey, it's not just art, but you could use the creative aspect of thinking in other areas as well. And, and uh, that's kind of brilliant. <coughs> you got to sneak in yeah. some of those life lessons. That's what it's all about. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Who's your mentor? Um, 
That's a good question. I'm right here, dude. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> besides, to- I mean, besides, to- <laughs> like, yeah, besides he, he's to- a big influence. Who's your? <laughs> he's a big influence, but like, are there? Yeah, others, uh, STEM art teachers I, out there on YouTube that are giving hints on how to do that or so what? To answer that question, Todd Todd read my bio, and 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 you kind of refer to me as the Renaissance man, and I I just love art enough that. I'm all over the place, which is also a fault of mine that I cannot have a focus in just painting or mm-hmm. just ceramics. So I cannot perfect it, but I kind of mix and match some of my interests within art to kind of do printmaking stuff on clay, which you may have seen uh, right before we graduated. Um, and so I'm, I'm experimenting. Um, I don't like to settle on one type of art, and I just like to explore to get that rounded um, offering of art that I'm constantly rediscovering or um, re-exploring what mm-hmm. I already know, um, but um, I no, I I don't have one specific mentor okay. or influence, but just art in general. Uh, the is there a theme that you're attracted to that shows yep. up in all your different yep. s- types it's, of art? It's uh, outdoors, my outdoor mm-hmm. environment, <clears throat> specifically with uh, how man or, or just human versus the environment interaction, whether we are overtaking the environment or the environment overtaking us, as in you see um, ivy growing on the side of the, the building in, in some areas, and it's kind of overtaking the facade. And and so I'm interested in that interaction between the human and the nature and, and explore that. Have you watched any of that new uh, video game series? What's it called? Uh the Last of Us. The Last of Us. Oh, but that's a, that's a good example of yeah. you know time yeah. has passed and mm-hmm. uh, and nature and you know and, and all that has taken over. But those yeah. those shots are incredible. I have to check that. Oh, out. Oh, you really should. Yeah, that that lines up exactly with kind of what you're talking yeah. about. I love that that sort of version of a post apocalypse yeah, where mm-hmm. nature has thrived, yeah. survived, right. And, and man, maybe not so much. We have a guest in the studio out there listening to the podcast. You can come in the trailer if you want, by the way. You can also grab yourself a beer. Yeah, grab a beer. Grab a beer. That's why they're there. <laughs> Fridge is on the other side of the trailer here. Uh, <coughs> actually, I have a question, too. Yeah. Um, with mm-hmm. your, uh, the, the fact that you're dealing with students all the time yep. and um, you know, you're busy, mm-hmm. but do, are you finding any inspiration from them or yeah. thinking about things that when you do have time, you're like making a list mm-hmm. of like today I'm inspired to do X or Y or like, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm also in school as well. So like that takes away from the time that I could be making art, but inspirations om- almost on a daily basis, if not at least once a week, that um, makes me uh, want to do art that like it, it'll give me a spark of idea that I want to start to explore and so um, I've ha- I started I, I start so many artworks and then I realize I don't have the time to finish it and so one that I started recently was during COVID when um, specifically speaking with with um, Trump in office and and the state of the country in in shambles with the, the riot happening um, I, I kind of reflected. Oh, and I also got my citizenship recently too. Nice. And so um, I'm, I'm Japanese, by the way. <laughs> and and so thinking about all these things, um, a flag as a symbol of the country, me serving in the military as well uh, as a Japanese Wait, citizen. You were yeah. Oh yeah, how'd you do that? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so because you you served before you were a citizen. Yep. So I'm okay. a legal resident with a green card, and okay. and so that is good enough to join a military service as a non-citizen. Okay. Which is Todd, you're in. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. And so so I did my service and and got, got out still as a Japanese citizen and legal resident of the. Can United American States. do this? An American do the same thing in Japan? Nope. Okay. No, um, I try to get a dual citizenship, and Japanese are so uh, um, not not prideful, but they are so uh, rich with their culture that they uh-huh. didn't want to give out dual citizenship. Yeah, don't taint that shit. That's, yeah, okay. yeah, no traditional yep. and very pure. Yes, yeah. we, <laughs> <laughs> anything about you? <laughs> yeah, you're pure. God, you're I'm definitely pure. Hundred percent yeah. Japanese. Yeah. Um, and so. Um, uh, what were we talking about before that? 
Inspiration. Inspiration. Yeah, but I have no idea. I, this is great. I have, yeah. I have a question for <laughs> the you. The beer's kicking in. <laughs> yes. Um, so what culture mm -hmm. and or uh, time period in art history has inspired you most? Good question. Good. Modern, I think modern. And so, um, speaking of the Renaissance man, I'm I'm teaching my my class the Renaissance right now, and so Da Vinci is a topic, hot topic, mm -hmm. and he was uh, hot. He was, he was hot. <laughs> <laughs> and and so um, after that is is essentially when the artists um, started to not have to be constrained by commissions, uh, mm -hmm. specifically for the the church right. that you only were able to paint things that wait so was really the church the only one giving out commissions back then the church and and royalty? anybody that's rich royalty? yeah royalty people yeah. that had money yeah. you have okay. to be able to afford a portraiture yeah. so they would dress in all of their attire the robe the crown the scepter okay. and jewelry and everything so and, you were told what to paint or what yep okay. you you didn't really have an option okay. uh, this is back when the church had a lot of money yeah they don't have any money anymore. it's just, it's a different time now <laughs> yeah and so so to break away from that Photography is what allowed that separation of commission to huh. artists because now you could get a photograph of exactly how you look instead of a painting that may not look like you. Mm -hmm. And so they were more attracted to that. Mm -hmm. And it was very selective um, um, to be able to get a photograph. Plus, Bob just couldn't make us look real. I yeah, mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he can turn out B Bob Ross, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Happy accidents. Bob the Bildy. Happy, Happy accidents. accidents all day long. <laughs> Yeah. And so, yeah, photography paved the way for artists to start to, well, they could, they didn't have a job anymore. And so they started to explore what they could do. And the rest is kind of history. Uh, although modern art is kind of cringy to look at that, like, no, that's but that's, not a that brings up a good question. Is mm -hmm. your job as an art teacher in the STEM high school, mm -hmm. um, AI proof? Oh my gosh. It, <laughs> no. No. What? Yeah. Uh, there, I can't talk about something that just happened, but I just started to realize that AI is becoming an issue in school, mm -hmm. whether writing a paper or generating artwork. But um, I can prevent AI generated artwork from appearing in my classroom because I monitor how the students come up with that idea and then develop it. And, and we kind of have to um, kind of pace ourselves into developing our art so you can't just like not do anything and the the next day you show up with this masterpiece <laughs> mm -hmm. and i didn't see you work with the watermark well, with the watermark <laughs> yeah yeah which yeah. just happens often really that's all ai is it's just robbing yeah you know, yeah things yeah. that yeah. exist so you know? so randomly a watermark. sometimes a watermark is on okay. there mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. but ai is a powerful tool sure um sure i really wish i was back in high yeah. school yeah. <laughs> Take advantage of it. Take advantage. Yeah. I've never said that. <laughs> no, actually. I wouldn't want to be back in school no, at I all. I would never uh, go. I would might maybe be in the age sometimes, but I don't want to be back yeah. in high school. I wouldn't be the age either. But uh, would you, you want, be the age? If you want to live Knowing what I know now, going back, I don't know. I think it'd be an Yeah, but you can't know. You just got to go back. No, it's, I would It's already so different. Now. Oh, it's, I'm sure it's yeah, completely different. The yeah. AI, COVID, like there's different ideas starting to already generate. But anyway. Uh, if you want to check out good AI art, then uh, take a look at Anadol Rafik, or excuse me, Rafik Anadol, I think is his name. Um, he literally looks like a mad scientist with like mm. circle glasses, and um, he has a very uh, Dutch ac accent. I, I'm, I may be butchering where his his from, but um, he uses AI to animate data. And, and create a piece that people can enjoy. and Because so. it could be just a tool for certain artists, yep. as yep. opposed to just a, a way to rip off artists yeah. or an easy way out. You there's, know? there's controversies with it, um, submitting artworks that are AI-generated, but you put the prompt in, and mm -hmm. there's no other painting yeah. like it. Yeah, and for sure. There's a student right. that won a competition. Yeah, but I did the search. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. But right. wouldn't some of the students in the STEM classes be the same ones that will be developing or fine tuning or mm -hmm. having to deal with the ethics of all of this in the future as yeah. well? So yeah. having that exposure might. That's and and that's interesting that you bring that up because like the same group of kids that are that we are take uh, uh, um, starting to get now were in the middle of the pandemic where they were homeschooled or remotely and online uh, learned and and social skill for that matter during junior high that's that's kind of when you learn how to behave as a student uh, with your junior peers with your worst. teacher 
Yeah, it's <laughs> like crawling like sheep and yeah. kittens and <laughs> monkeys all in one. And um, <laughs> and yeah. and so so they they kind of know how to work the system or yeah. or not be engaged because they didn't know how to engage in front of a computer that you didn't have to show your face on perhaps. And so, so we're we're starting to deal with those those uh, situations. But I I did hear that the same engineers who are creating AI now, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> the same engineers that are creating things that, cr that you can make art from AI are going to be the same engineers that's going to create the software that's going to tell you the difference between real art <laughs> and AI art. You know, right now I am that software. You right? are it. I yeah. am it. Yeah, and so. Um, it's it's a tricky tricky situation to be in. And I don't want to talk too soon because we've been podcasting for about thirteen years. You could take so your we could voice, probably have enough yep. content at this point that we could just type in a subject. It just creates itself, and then just give me forty five minutes of co new content. <laughs> with and existing. we'll just sit in the trailer and drink beer and <laughs> listen to how AI makes the podcast for us. <laughs> so it'll be great. <laughs> we don't have to do anything anymore. Oh, it's brilliant. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, bikes that take you up to the summit without pedaling. <laughs> Tesla bikes. Tesla bikes. Tesla bikes. Yeah, yeah. this is our future. Hmm. Oh, I'm good to go. <laughs> I'm All right, Joel, anything else? What? Jesus, what do we, that was deep. What, anything else? Did we miss anything? Like, uh, what do we talk prob about with? Probably the jazzy chairs. That'll take us to the grocery Jazzy store. chairs are pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah. Jazzy chairs. So. That's the, um, which cartoon was that where essentially is our future? Uh like with the robots, Futurama. What's that? No, no, no. It's a, It's one of the Pixar ones. It'll come to me in a second. Wally. 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 Oh yep. my God! Wally. Yep. Yep. Human, yeah. humans, Wally. and Wally, where everybody is now <laughs> just bound to their chairs, yeah. and they just, yeah, that's Ooh. that's our future right there. So, uh, Ogden Twilight is uh, around the corner. Do you oh, miss man. pick uh, picking up confetti? Oh, that's uh, right. I was going to ask: Are your kids are allowed to have any glitter or confetti since you had to pick it up for years? <laughs> You had your share of nights, didn't you, picking up confetti? I mean, in, in the classroom, I can be the one to tell them to pick up. Mm, whereas mm. at the amphitheater, we were the ones blowing it with the, the leaf blower mm -hmm. and picking mm -hmm. it up. Also, isn't hand. it more the artists mm -hmm. than the kids that were the problem with the confetti? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, Thinking that's, of one in particular. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Love him, but mm -hmm. the mess that he left. <laughs> <laughs> Great show though, great yeah. show. Yeah. And I, I miss that he's not. coming This is one of the first years he's back. not coming back, no, right? Yeah. But he's like, there's a Salt Lake date that was yeah. too close or something. We're not allowed to say. <laughs> no, I think you were. I think everything. Wayne, Wayne Coin, Wayne Coin, come back, yeah. make a mess. <laughs> we will welcome you. We're ready. Yeah, yeah, mm. we're ready for the confetti <laughs> and the giant mylar balloons. Hashtag ready for the confetti. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Joel, do you have any parting words for budding artists who are in high school or even in college and oh the direction they should go oh, with your infinite wisdom of artists? You're putting me on the spot with yes, that question. Yes, I, I am. You have about a second to think about it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, I? so I did advising for undergrad art students for six, seven years, and so mm -hmm. my advice would obviously be steady income, Easy to find jobs. None of this applies, right? Yeah, yeah. But um, uh, it's it's every other lesson that comes with uh, arts and humanities job. And we're so, hiring at the bike shop if they need jobs yes, yes. while they're <laughs> working out there, which is often the case, so, right? So have it's, a backup. It's, it's a means, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, but I think more more than anything, and then you're just starting a little earlier than I did. It's that idea of arts and humanities students learning those we called them soft skills to be better citizens, period, yep. with whatever is thrown at them. Yep. They are the population that pivots quicker, mm -hmm. that adapts quicker, um, that just sees things differently yes. than literally anyone yes. else. They, they have a different perspective about the world around them. And I think that those um, lessons yep. mixed in with maybe a little bit of renaissance and mm -hmm. shading, you know, yep is basically going to produce those students that are, you yeah. know, I how, think they're better. How do adapted. we get, how do we teach people to be more like you? <laughs> like who's open nope. to change and want one change? and done. <laughs> and less like me who like doesn't want any change. <laughs> you know, I think that that's why we work so well together. <laughs> yeah. The yin okay. and the yang. Yin and yang all day long here. Yeah. That's very true. It is true. Yeah. I think some of it comes with this. Exactly. I think it's just, 
the idea of I do believe that art students, theater students, people that where a little bit of rejection is part of that process or critique it, it is, is part of that process, you come out the other side not feeling, you know, yeah. stuck so much. Yeah. Right. I don't know if that's the answer, but it's definitely yeah. one. No, it's definitely like fa- it, art. You have to kind of accept and deal with failure all the time, about 80 percent of the time. Whoa, that's listen. We're, I'm trying to rap. But that is <laughs> that's huge because kids don't deal with rejection right now. Yep. And and that's what I learned in college is going through the art program. There was critiques and yep. people. Essentially, it's your job in that class to tell you you suck and where to improve. Yep. And so to learn to go through that, we would never say suck. <laughs> that is no. They, use other, the they point. use other words like um. I would make different choices he here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how yeah. you process it. <laughs> the yeah. lesson wasn't yeah. that you sucked. <laughs> He was, oh, I got it. I got it loud and you clear. You got it clear. Loud and clear. Yeah. Yeah. But I, it is a, it is good for everyone to go through that exercise to, yes. to, to, to experience getting feedback yep. because, yeah. um, a lot of kids, uh, might be raised with, with parents that don't give negative feedback. And so the first time they hear that might be in a school <laughs> yeah. situation. My boy's perfect. Yeah. He's perfect. Don't yeah. change a thing. Right. You're it, absolutely perfect. Right. Don't you change anything about yourself. Yeah. yeah. So getting that or experiencing that mm-hmm. or going through that is helpful because typically in an art class, they do it in a way that you're not absolutely tearing people down. Yeah. You're just giving suggestions. Nope. And, I, I, yeah. When I patrol my class, right, I'm making sure everybody's <laughs> working. But at the same time, I'm stopping by to see like, hey, what are you doing there? Or like that is looking the way it should be, or I'm, I'm starting to see the picture. And so I try not to give uh, praises like, good job, right? Like, yeah. good job kind of is like, oh, that's all I would if it's say. good, then I'm done. Yeah. And so like, that Dude, that's dope. that work. Yeah. They, just, <laughs> they just pack things up and take off. <laughs> try, try to be the cool teacher. Maybe art isn't for you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> let's, try, let's try theater. <laughs> or music. <laughs> And so, oh, no, no, no. We we recognize what's working. There's always podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't teach podcast, if you can't do this podcast, uh, if the if the if the bike stuff doesn't work, just think about podcasting. Have you thought about <laughs> about, pod, about podcasting your bike experience, like? Like you're like showing how to repair. A po- I mean, those guys crush it. Anybody on YouTube, not podcasting necessarily, but anybody on YouTube that's like, here's how to replace your derailleur, blah, blah, blah. Like, have you thought about that? We we do have a, a Yeah. See, you have to. Up, but but yeah. yeah, we we literally have to. Yeah. It's marketing yeah. one on one these days. It's a part of our world. Let me know if you yeah. need help with that. I can help you. Yeah. yeah. Bra- Braden was very against it at first, but now we're 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 warming them up. Embracing. Yeah. Right. Come on, right. jump on board, Braden. I'm embracing it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Braden, this was me. Uh Pre cameras, pre seventy five cameras. I did. In one. I did drag my feet a little. I'm old school. Like I like the audio, mm-hmm. right? But uh, you got to meet the people where they are. Yeah. And uh, content is content, uh, and so I would rather somebody enjoy our programming in the corner of their screen while they're working, if that's how they enjoy it. And so. we try to treat it like, uh, I, I'm a huge Dan Patrick sports fan, but and it's a radio show first, mm-hmm. so we podcast first, and the cameras are more like you're, what's it called when you're just staring, you're watching somebody. It's like a little voyeur. Voyeur, voyeur. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're on the outside looking at, like, we're not like right here looking at the camera most of the time. So we're, yeah. you're just, you're just sort of watching the behind the scenes. That's sort of how we approach the Can- recording. Candid. Yeah. Can- a little more candid. Yeah. 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 Candid sounds better than voyeuristic. <laughs> yeah. Voyeuristic's badass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and illegal in some states. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> that is a different show. <laughs> it's a different show. Different show. Yeah. Thanks, Joel. Of course. Do you have a website where we can go find your art? Um, Instagram, anything? Oh, I do. Okay. It is Joel Kitamura. <laughs> I dot you Sorry, I interrupted. Joel, Joel Kitamura. Dot Weebly. Dot com. Dot Weebly. Dot com. Kitamura is just how it sounds. Yep. Just sound it out. Yeah. <laughs>